Hello and welcome to the Science Fury. So this is the first version of my DIY cathode ray tube. It's uh, the simplest way you can do it. It's basically some glass tubing. Then glued in that is some metal tubing with epoxy. Then another piece of glass tubing and another piece of metal tubing. And then at the end I have a sealed glass tubing. And at the end here I have a bit of um, phosphor from a fluorescent bulb. That's the easiest way you can do it. I have the design from a website. I can link it in the description. And you basically put, uh, let me think, the anode is positive and the anode has to go here and the cathode is negative and goes here and then the electrons get accelerated um, to here and shoot out to the screen or to the phosphor I have here. Of course this screen is like, well not really a screen, it's just a sealed end, a, a pointy end. It's not really nice. That's why I bought these um, test tubes and they have a flat bottom and in the future I will make a version with a flat bottom and I uh, just have to see how to get this into this one and then I should have a nicer cathode ray tube. Also what I forgot to mention is this design um, needs a piece of metal at this end. I only have the pipe right now, but it needs to have a piece of metal with a small hole po poked into it. And this gives you a nice beam of electrons here coming out at the end. Like it's the same if you have like, but it's not really a, a good example. I think I can show it, but uh, if you have a light like from a camera light and it's going through the hole and then at the end you can't see it from the camera but on the other side you have only a, a hole and it, that's the same principle you can do this with electrons and that, that way you have a nice beam and a nice point at the end of course it doesn't really matter here because uh, the, it, the end is pointy anyway you also need a high voltage power supply. I have this flyback transformer and this super simple flyback driver. You can find plans for this on the internet. It's super simple to build. And this gives you around 30 kilovolts or something, but you actually don't need that much. Uh, this takes 12 volts, but I only have it turned to like five or six volts input. And this gives you a voltage uh, that is uh, fine for the cathode ray tube. What you also need is a vacuum pump. I have this vacuum pump I showed in the last video with the um, fluorescent tubes or the gas discharge tubes I made. And yeah, you need this and hook it up to the glass construction. And I will do this now. All right, I have everything hooked up. The red wire that uh, goes out here is connected to this part and the ground wire is connected to this part. All right, I will switch off the light, uh, turn on the pump and let it pump down and then I will turn on the high voltage. So I think this is actually a true cathode ray tube because I have the, you saw the glow in between here, but this is actually not a cathode ray. Some people on YouTube posted videos about a cathode ray tube and they called it cathode ray tube with only like a vacuum tube with two contacts and in between you have the glow, you saw the glow here, but this is actually just ionized, ionized rest gas that's still in there. And the actual cathode ray is not visible, it's just electrons. 
and it's actually flying out here. And you saw here that there was no glow except uh, the glowing phosphor I have here at the end. And, and I have a bit of here, you saw this probably in the video that it was glowing here and here, but it was not glowing uh, continuously in the whole tube. And this is actually a true cathode ray that is shooting out here and then illuminating or hitting the phosphor and illuminating it. And that's why I think this is actually a true cathode ray tube. Not perfect because there's still gas in there. Ideally, you don't want to have any gas in there. Another reason is you saw I switched off the vacuum pump and as the pressure rises, the glow here becomes stronger but it stops over here and that shows me that there's too much gas inside the electrons get like stopped or the, the the pressure is too high for the electrons to flow or to to get shot out here and it stops here and then you don't have an electron beam but you still have this glow so if this would be a cathode cathode ray like then you would still have the glow in the phosphor and that's not the case so this is clearly um, just the gas that gets ionized when this glows in here usually usually a cathode ray is not visible unless you make it visible with a phosphor screen or something the last thing i wanted to try out is i have this screen this is an x-ray screen and i just put it against the cathode ray tube but I don't think it will light up or it will show anything because the cathode ray gets stopped by the glass. I wanted to put it inside here, but uh, putting a piece inside here, um, I, I have no idea how to fasten it or something. And um, I, I think it might get like pumped out and into the pump and yeah, I don't want this to happen. So um, I have to see. Maybe in the future I will make the uh, tube with the uh, larger diameter where I can stick uh, the screen, stick a piece of the screen uh, in there and have it in the vacuum. But for now I'll try just this, but I don't think anything will happen. So as I expected, there's no glow on the X-ray screen and I, I don't think this is producing any X-rays anyway. So that, this is also a thing. People are in the comments and saying every time, every every video where I saw uh, someone doing something with a vacuum and high voltage, someone's saying, oh, it might produce X-rays or something. And at least this one is, is not producing X-rays. I've turned it up to 30 kilovolts and I don't see anything on the screen. Maybe some X-rays get produced, but um, they're probably so low energy that they're not making it out of the glass. What I would do or would have to do is put a tungsten target here that I have like a hard material uh, for the electrons to shoot in and uh, that probably produces x-rays but this setup um, with a glow tube or with this cathode ray tube is probably not producing x-rays all right that's it for this video i think uh, in the future i will definitely try to get this to work with the larger glass tube and with the uh, flat side so i co can coat this with the phosphor or maybe put the x-ray screen in there, put a piece in there, but I'm not sure. Um, and then get a nice dot on the end. So I really have like a cathode ray and can manipulate it with magnetic fields. So that's the next plan with the bigger tube. All right, thanks for watching, bye.